Hi, I'm Louisa Sudeva, a liquidator and bankruptcy trustee. So today's question is, what responsibilities, if any, does a former director of a company have to the company and to assist the liquidator of the company? In particular, what happens if the former director resigned prior to the liquidation of the company? The answer to this question is that the former director will still have responsibilities and duties to the liquidator of the company, even if they resigned before the company went into liquidation. For example, if the former director has books and records of the company or information or documents about the company and the liquidator requires the former director to produce these to the liquidator, the former director must do so. Does the former director have to complete a ROCAP, a report on company activities and property, which is the standard report that a liquidator or voluntary administrator will require of every current director when the company goes into liquidation or voluntary administration? The answer to this, in relation to a former director, is that it's up to the liquidator's discretion. So typically, if it were me, I tend to ask former directors to complete one as well if they resigned within the last 6 to 12 months or so of the company. If they've resigned several years ago, it's usually not going to be very relevant or they won't know very much about the company anymore. And if they resigned the week prior to the liquidation, definitely so. So it is discretionary somewhat, but typically in the last 6 to 12 months, I will usually ask them to complete one.